Here we're looking at the idea of representative samples. So if we're looking to measure something about a population, we want to gather a sample to measure, and we want to make sure that when we do that, the sample represents the population, that it looks similar to the population as a whole. So we'll look at a couple examples here. First of all, to find the average annual income of all adults in the United States, suppose we sampled representatives in the Congress of the United States. It turns out this is not a very representative sample. First of all, the salary for representatives in Congress is set at a fixed number. And that number is relatively high compared to the average income for all adults in the United States. So it's not representative because if you look at the whole population, there are some people who make very little and some people who make a lot. And in the Congress, there's a fixed value that's unlikely to be similar to the average value of all adults in the US. So it's not a very good representative sample. We would say, no, this is not representative. The second example says, to find out the most popular cereal among children under the age of 10, you could stand outside a large supermarket one day and poll every 20th child under the age of 10 who enters the supermarket. It's not clear that there's any bias in this one. This seems like a pretty good way to find an answer to this question. If you poll children coming into a supermarket of the right age group, you're likely to get a pretty representative sample for all children that do this. Now, you may want to pick different areas of the country, for instance. There could be differences depending on where you look, but without going any deeper, it doesn't look like there are any obvious red flags that this would not be representative for all the answers you're looking for. So this one looks fairly good. And the lesson from these is just that when you're gathering a sample, it's important to look for a representative one, one that's likely to look similar to your population. You don't want to sample that's chosen too narrowly or that's chosen with some sort of obvious bias.